Hey guys, what's going on everybody? My name is What's Wrong Our Ladies and Gents! Welcome to a brand new LEGO Dimensions unboxing and possibly the final LEGO Dimensions unboxing on the channel. I do not want to necessarily make that sound so spectacular, but of course, at this point in time, we don't know what is happening with LEGO Dimensions. Are we going to get more stuff in the future? Who knows? So that's why I'm saying that this might very well be the final, final unboxing for LEGO Dimensions. So I wanted to also preface this video, of course, anytime that I am sent anything by a company or anything like that, I'll let you guys know. And that is the case here. I did receive these just one day early before they launch in stores from the lovely folks over at Warner Brothers. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up for that. And with that in mind, what do we have in front of us? Well, we have a few different sets. We have three fun packs, which if you don't know what that means, those are the smallest scale packs for LEGO Dimensions where we would get a character and a vehicle or some sort of an accessory type character included. So that is the case for the Buttercup fun pack. Of course, we also have Starfire fun pack and the Beetlejuice fun pack here as well. And then we will be getting two team packs as well which feature two characters and two vehicles as well so as you can see this final wave of lego dimensions does not include any story packs or level packs so that is a bit unfortunate i was sort of hoping we would get a level pack at least which would have been really cool but it's still very 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 cool to see the characters that are here because of course we're going to be able to then go into these different hub worlds and it seems like the other really cool element is that the teen titans go ones come with unlockable exclusive episodes so that's really cool to see as well so let's work our way with uh, beetlejuice all the way up to the Powerpuff Girls and we'll work our way through them here very, very, very quickly, of course. So here's the Beetlejuice fun pack, as you can see, and it contains Beetlejuice himself, who looks great, and it is Shattern Sandworm. Now, the Sandworm itself is actually able to take two other forms, and that is the Spooky Spider, as well as the Haunted Vacuum. So, of course, if you ever uh, wanted to drive a vacuum cleaner as Beetlejuice, this game will allow you to do that. So, with that in mind, let's go on ahead and open up the box. I did pre-cut the tape just so that it's easier to actually access. Uh, we do have our instruction booklet here, which should tell us how to assemble Beetlejuice. There it is. So, that's a pretty simple assembly process. And then it lets us know that, hey, you need to download the latest game content to use this character. So, you will need to obviously download some uh, actual updates to your game and you will be able to continue building using the in-game building instructions. At the very back here, we have a nice little catalog summary of previous sets for LEGO Dimensions, showing you just how many cool extensive characters and different worlds we have been to in this awesome, awesome game. So, with that in mind, let me go on ahead and see how many bags... Okay, wow, okay. We only have one bag included in this particular package. It is a 56-piece set, by the way. I don't know if I touched on that before, so I wanted to go on ahead and point that out but within the package here uh, we have let me see a pretty good amount of parts mostly white parts it seems like a little bit of blacks and a little bit of greens and then it seems like some of the details of the set will come to life through some yellow and I guess you would call that red uh, studs so that's intriguing as well so let me just put Beetlejuice together of course I'm not going to be putting the actual vehicle or in this case the uh, warm together but we will take a look at the minifigure my goodness he looks awesome so let me go on ahead and push all the other elements away so first and foremost I guess we should look at the toy tag itself which looks great we have nice little stripes or pinstripe design across the sides and then it says Beetlejuice across the bottom as well I don't know what that is it's like some piece of plastic or something or cardboard uh, but here's Beetlejuice himself and he looks terrific I really really love the paint job on the face the lips and everything he looks spooky which is awesome we do get two different expressions which is fantastic I love the fact that we have a happy and a much more angry Beetlejuice available as well and I really do think that this might end up being one of the most collectible minifigures of the entire Lego Dimensions lineup because Right now, at least at the time of this recording, this is the only way to own a Beetlejuice minifigure. So if you want one, you're going to need to buy 
a fun pack to get him. And of course, he will unlock the Beetlejuice hub world in your game as well. So from there, let's move right along to the Teen Titans fun pack. This is Starfire along with the Titan Robot. It is a 56 piece set as well, so that's interesting. And on the back, we have a nice little summary of all the other forms that the robot can take. So of course, we have the previously mentioned Titan Robot. Then we have the T-Rocket Fusity, which, oh my goodness, that's a mouthful. I can't say that quickly. Uh, and then we've got the Robot Retriever, which is awesome because uh, Golden Retrievers are awesome. So let's go on ahead and see what we have within. So we first and foremost have our little booklet once again, which shows to us how to put together Starfire. Once again, lets us know of the exact same mumbo jumbo that we've already read. A nice little summary once again. And also a cool little piece count, by the way, is on the very, very back page uh, of the sets. All right, so let's get the, oh, okay. This one actually comes with two baggies, unlike the one bag that we got for Beetlejuice. So that's interesting. And, ooh, here we go. So the entire minifigure is here. Oh, nope, not the entire. The headpiece is actually in this bag. So I'm just gonna get Starfire's head out of there so that we don't have to worry about it being lost. And then all the other parts that we need in order to put Starfire together are actually in here. So we have our toy tag, which looks terrific, by the way. Very cool. I never knew that Starfire had a logo like that. That's awesome. And this is, uh, I think, I want to say that it's the first time we've ever gotten a Starfire figure, but then I'm starting to remember now that I think we have gotten her uh, before in some other set. I'm pretty sure it might have been like Joker's Funhouse or something like that. I don't remember the exact set that we have received this figure in before, or not this figure, because this is the Teen Titans Go version, uh, but we have gotten a Starfire minifigure before, I want to say. Uh, but this one looks great. I like the toy tag itself. I like the surprise face, so it gives you that very uh, Teen Titans Go feel where it's very animated and over-exaggerated, so that is fantastic. The hair looks really great, so if you want to uh, go on ahead and maybe use that for like a Jessica Jones custom, like a comic book version, you could do that, so that's really cool. And then, of course, we do have a much more calm expression as well, but it's still with those big giant eyes so it kind of gives you that very animated and cartoony feel for the character so that is excellent all right so what about the other teen titans pack well that would be the teen pack here which features beast boy and raven and i know what you might be thinking to yourself wait a minute what about the other two members of the Teen Titans, Robin and Cyborg? Well, we have gotten those figures before. We got Cyborg as a comic book version, and we got Robin as, well, actually, I guess technically we got him as a Lego Batman movie version. So you would be able, from what I understand, to bring those characters into these hub worlds, and then they will look like the Teen Titans Go version. So that's really cool to see. Now... This pack right here, of course, as I was mentioning before, features Beast Boy, Raven, and we have Raven's Spellbook, as well as the T-Car, aka the t uh, Titan's Car. And then on the back here, we can see a nice little summary of the three forms for each one of these uh, vehicles. So the Spellbook of Azeroth can take its Spellbook form. It can become Raven Wings, which looks incredibly cool, and a big, giant, spooktacular hand. So a very Halloween-y themed character. And then we've got the T-Car, the T forklift and the T plane. Plus, look at that cool little preview of the Teen Titans Go hub world. That looks awesome. All right, so let's open up this pack as well. How many bags we have in here? It's a 105 piece set. Whoa, this is a huge bag. It's like one of the biggest bags we've ever gotten, it feels like, for LEGO Dimensions, so that's very cool. Really, really happy to see that. It is kind of interesting that the front here has, like, speckled LEGO pieces. Like, you see the blue here? It has, like, little speckles inside of it, which looks really cool, actually. I sort of wish that maybe the real set had that as well. I don't know if it does, so let's find out. Um, oh, and of course, sorry, I forgot. The box does have the uh, booklet here. So if you're wondering like, hey, does this one come with a booklet? Yes, it does. So same exact type thing. We have a Raven uh, feature guide of how to put her together. Same with Beast Boy. And then some of the similar information that we've already seen on the other um, sets here. So from this bag, I think all we need is the Beast Boy head and the hair piece as well. Oh, and the banana here as well, because I guess Beast Boy is a big fan of bananas. Oh, whoops, wait a minute. Kind of forgot about Raven's head as well. Definitely need that. And we need her electric shock ability as well. So that's all the parts that we need from this one set that aside now and then we move over to this bag i'm actually really interested to see what the toy tags look like for these guys 
hand gal. So we have a couple of body parts there. That sounds terrifying. So there's one toy tag. And then there's the other toy tag. So we have, of course, Beast Boy and Raven, respectively. And we're still missing one more body part here, right? Oh, wait. There's the cape. Still missing legs for Beast Boy. Which should be the shorter legs. Yep, there they are. All right, final thing I wanted to check is if the blue parts have that speckled look to them. And I don't believe they do. It looks just like regular flat pastel blue so uh, there you are all right so let's take a look at the actual characters shall we so first of all we have the toy tag so beast boy is right there this one's for raven there and let's start putting them together so beast boy i guess we'll go first since we've already begun putting that character together he does also have two expressions so we have the very cool kind of uh, I guess this would be kind of more grumpy or maybe annoyed look and then the more happy go lucky Beast Boy Which is probably the one that most people like uh, Well, except for the people that get annoyed by Beast Boy uh, And then let's give him his hair piece here, which is awesome by the way So I don't think we've ever gotten that ha uh, hair piece on any other minifigure So that, again, it's very cool that that's something that is unique to Lego Dimensions So I do love as a Lego fan how much unique or how many unique minifigures, characters, and different pieces we have gotten thanks to LEGO Dimensions. So it's very, very cool, even if you're not a fan of video games, that you can get a whole lot of really, really awesome uh, LEGO components added to your collection thanks to LEGO Dimensions. So we do have the cape here, hidden in this little bag here. And we will place that onto there. And then put the head on. Now this is Raven as of course her being very, very, very happy here as you can see. So this is Raven's very happy face. And then if you wanna see her angry, uh, you wouldn't like her when she's angry. She looks like a giant wasp or some sort of a bug. So you wouldn't like her being that upset. So let's get her back to her happy quote unquote mode. So there we are. All right. Awesome. So those are the Teen Titans taken care of. Let's move right along to our Pub Puff Girls set. So we have a 56 piece set. I think all the fun packs were 56 pieces uh, large. Then the Mega Blast Bot, which can also turn into a slamming guitar and the Kapow Cannon. So that's cool. Let's go on ahead and get the baggie out of here. Of course, we have the little booklet here. I'm not gonna look at it again because we've already looked at the previous ones. We only get one bag with this set. And here's the tag. So I'm guessing that the uh, toy tags are gonna be all the same except for the colors uh, for each respective character. So I'm sure that maybe like, you know, Buttercup gets the green one, which has bam right there. So I'm sure the other ones will be the same thing but maybe different colors, or maybe they would even have different action words, who knows. Uh, but here is the actual awesome custom headpiece. So this is again, the only way to get currently at least, Lego Powerpuff Girls sets is through Lego Dimensions, and that is awesome. So there's a Buttercup. If you're wondering as far as like how big is that head, um, so like, let's say this is a standard minifigure. So you can see that the shorter legs do make her a bit shorter, but they're not gonna be like tiny little, I know that technically you could say, well, they're Powerpuff Girls, so they should be smaller. But if we compare her to even like a smaller character like Beast Boy, because the heads are quite large, obviously she looks uh, pretty much maybe even bigger than a regular minifigure. So that's kind of interesting. But nevertheless, let's move right along to the final set here for the unboxing today. And that is the Bubbles and Blossom two-pack, which also features the Powerpuff Girls smartphone and the Octi there. And on the back here, we can see Octi can also turn into the Sonic Squid and the Super Skunk, which is probably one of the coolest LEGO Dimensions builds they've ever done. Look at that, that looks great. Kind of looks a bit more like a chameleon than a skunk, but very cool. Then we've got the PPG smartphone, which I assume is the Powerpuff Girls, right, smartphone. Then we've got the PPG hotline, and then we've got the Powerpuff Mag net which i guess is a magnet that actually creates a net probably so clever double entendre there now right down here we get a nice little preview of the powerpuff girls adventure world so that is awesome and with that in mind let's go on ahead and open this up there we go whoops that already pre-cut tape that was a bit more difficult to open than i had uh, intended it to be okay i don't think we need anything from there so that 
we can set aside. And then the second bag, whoa, this is a big, massive bag with a lot of stuff in there. And of course, by the way, this one does come with a checklist as well. Huh, I wonder why there's like little scanner parts here. Is that to like unlock something? I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't have just torn to the bag like that because maybe those are like QR codes for like some episodes or something like that. Uh, so here's the bubbles headpiece, which looks awesome by the way, very well done. Then we've got the torso for bubbles and the leg piece for bubbles. I think that the leg pieces are the same across all three characters. Uh, so that's for block. Oh, okay, it does have different words. So we've got pow on this one. Uh, the one for buttercup said bam. So we've got pow, bam. And where's the one for bubbles? And zap. So pow, bam, zap. Makes sense. And here is Blossom's head. And there is the torso, and I'm still not seeing, oh, there we go, the leg piece, which is exactly the same as we saw in the other two Powerpuff Girls. Now, of course, guys, I know what you might be asking. Hey, Blitz, are you going to be doing gameplay? Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, based on how quickly this uploaded, uh, you will be seeing gameplay probably either later on today or um tomorrow so there you go so here we are with all three of the powerpuff girls looking really really cool i mean who would have ever thunk it that the powerpuff girls would be joining lego dimensions and more importantly that we would get official lego releases for the powerpuff girls very 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 cool to see that so i am super duper stoked to add even more diversity to the already incredibly diverse cast of the lego dimensions lineup and then of course ladies and gents as if all that wasn't enough we still got beetlejuice we've got the two pack with raven and beast boy which was awesome as well and last oh but certainly not least we got starfire as well so we've got a complete teen titans go squad ready to rock now and beetlejuice joining the team as well so with all that in mind i would love to hear from you lovely folks as to what is your personal favorite out of the seven minifigures that you currently see in front of you let me know down in the comment section below of course like always if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to see more of these in the future hit that like button and stay tuned for plenty more lego dimensions content coming your way thanks all for watching guys i'll catch you all next time peace out see you laters alligators bye bye everyone